previously on Half-Life Alex. That there is a floppy disk. We used to store information on them, with magnets if you can believe it. Hmm. Specifically, two micrometers magnetic iron oxide, three micrometers barium ferrite, a 1.2... How do you know all this? I'm reading it here on my computer. I downloaded the internet before the war. You downloaded the entire internet? Yeah, uh, most of it. Nice. Yeah, yeah it is. Russell, are you seeing this? Uh, possibly. Are you seeing floating garbage? It looks like it's just cardboard. Right. Well, it seems harmless. Yeah. <laughs> Weird, though. What is that? Whoa. More floating cardboard. Death. Death. That's what that means. It means death. Alec, are you alright? What's wrong? I'm fine, Russell. What's up? I'm losing your signal. Alec? Alec? If you can still hear me, keep heading in the same direction and, and try to get above ground. Russell? Russell? Crap. Whoa. This is weird. Oh. The Alex fans, <laughs> you received my message. I did. Come into. Okay, thanks. You are welcome. So, what's a Vortigaunt doing here? <laughs> Cooking. Right, but I mean in general. I have a brain injury. Oh, I'm sorry, Dan. My brain is injured. That's terrible, Ow. and I hope... Look, I'm actually pretty busy looking for my father. The... Eli... Eli Bands, yes. The Combine have him, and I really do need to get moving. The Combine, yes. Do not go yet. I must show you something. Look, I appreciate This way. I can't stick around. I... It is important. I know, I'm sure it is. The Alex Band must go this way anyway. Okay. Oh. Vance is honestly very busy saving her dad. You will not save him. He is dead. What? Or he will be. Is or will be? It is a matter of perspective. But Alex Vance alone cannot prevent his fate. I... Look, thank you for everything, but I really have to go. And I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for riddles. No riddles. The Combine drilled here. I am severed from the Vortessens. I am alone in my head. I'm sorry. Look, if, if I can, if I run across your friends, I will see what I can do. You have saved my kid. I haven't. Then you will. Huh. I will help the Alex Vance. Look to the Northern Star. Why? For guidance. Okay, thanks. 
Are you done helping? I am not. Here. Sustenance. Uh, I'll eat it later. Thanks for the help. You will be welcome. Alex! Alex, the signal's back. Can you hear me? Are you okay? Russell, I'm good. How's Dad? They've got him on the train. He's on the move. You've got to find Fairview Junction before they get there. I'm working on it. Last shot. How many options here? I could put a laser sight on there. That may not be a bad idea, actually. All right, Russ. Really need you to talk again. Absolutely. Be specific. Um, before. What was life like before the combine? Ah, excellent. Alex, have you ever heard of a club sandwich? Uh, nope. Not once. Right. To make a club sandwich, you need to start with bread. Not from a bread line, from a bakery across the street. Baked that day. Okay, you add tomatoes, lettuce, not vegetable paste, fresh. Then you add bacon. That's from an animal we used to call the pig. You toast the bread and you put all that inside it. You guys had all that? That's insane. It is, and I'm not done. Then you add a second sandwich on top of the first one. You put ham in it, also from a pig, and turkey from an animal we used to call the turkey. And more tomato, more lettuce, and a bunch of other things I'm forgetting. It was six inches tall and weighed a pound and had a dozen ingredients from five different continents. It was the most impossible food item you could imagine in any age before now. Wow. I know, right? That is... Wow. Thanks, Russ. You're welcome, Alex. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Spike Plays Half-Life Alex. Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's the glove. I'm trying to figure out like why are my hands glowing? <laughs> right. Still trying to get used to the game, guys. I haven't played that far into it. Um but yeah, we're uh we made it a few levels here, so now call uh, combine soldier means we're probably gonna start facing them soon. I made it about that far in the game, and then I stopped and I said, well, why don't I just record my playthrough? And uh, I'm glad I did, because uh, I really enjoy showing off the wonders of VR. Uh, I think I've, uh, I had no way I've convinced at least one person to get VR and play it, and uh, at least, no, sorry, two people. Aha, I'm taking credit for two people. But um, there are other people out there that are still on the fence or have like a list of excuses of, of why um, they won't do it, but it's only a matter of time. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you, get you. Yeah. Anyways, uh, why VR is amazing. Games like this are amazing. The interaction of everything in the world is amazing, right? Look at this shit. Look at that. I mean, it's just fun to just stand in this world and move things around and search for stuff. Um. <clears throat> so I want to clarify something from the last video. Sorry, guys. I just had to do a quick cough there. Um. So I want to make sure people understand what I was talking about with immutable qualities real quick because because uh, there was some concern, uh, wisely so. I don't I don't blame the person for being concerned, and uh, that I was implying that the current community that I'm a part of, there was something going on with that, and it really wasn't. It was more like um, general statements, watching the news, looking at YouTube videos, mostly YouTube videos, and the crap that comes off of TikTok and everything. Which, by the way, if you're on TikTok, guys, seriously, get the hell off of that. You know, you don't don't take my word for it. Go do some research on it. Don't don't be a sheeple, man. Don't fall for that crap. Just get the hell off of it. You know, cat videos and dancey TikToky girls. It's just not worth the potential security risk to your sit your 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 phone or to your laptop or your whatever. Anyways, so nobody on any of the communities that I'm a part of has been racist or bigoted in any way, and that's the only reason why I participate in that. Because to be honest with you, if they were, um, <clears throat> I would have no interest in it. Oh, look. Uh, so. Do that. 
Um, so yeah, I. That's just the bottom line. I'm not going to go on about it. But uh, the thing I want to talk about are the in my first video. More recently, two people have come in and posted some comments, and I love comments and I love. Wait, people. is that a dead combine soldier? Yeah. When you guys were off stealing the reactor, I saw the combine moving supplies in here. So, I guess they're interested in this place again. All right, we'll keep an eye out. Something's definitely up. So, um, yeah, something's definitely up. I, I think I think you're right. I thought that was my ammo count. Oh, I see the ammo count. Okay. So, yeah. Um, one person posted some comments about being more interactive with things. The problem is, I don't see... <clears throat> I mean, I could feed an animal. I guess it's not a huge deal. Uh, there are some light switches that I missed. The problem is, this person posted... This is kind of my point. They posted on the video and then really haven't shown back up or posted anything since. So, um, I appreciate the, the, uh, the information. They said interact more with things. The problem is, there really isn't anything to interact with. Yeah, I could pick up random objects, dude, but what's the point? Anyways, uh, the other person that posted, and, and again, I like, I like critique. I like, uh, um, I like, I like when people come in with ideas and that kind of stuff, and there's no problem with that. The other person, was trying to be mean, if that makes any sense. Like, I think they were trying to be maybe funny, sarcastic, and maybe that person wants to come back and clarify if they feel like it. They're probably not. Um, this is a drive-by, you know, like this, the, the drive-by uh, posters basically post one comment and never show up again. What they'll sometimes do is they'll come by and then they'll start disliking videos, right? That seems to be a common tactic um, to just come in and just kind of, Create. No, my flashlight's not gonna work. Alex, man hack, watch out. See it. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, I forgot about the little flying. All right. <laughs> so pay attention to the game. Pay attention to the game. So yeah. Anyways, they're not gonna come back. Most likely, uh, I, I seriously doubt it. But anyways, regardless of whether they do or not, this person basically accused me of being. I need my fingers. Dyslexic because I picked up a candy bar <clears throat> and I read it and I read it wrong and I think I said like desiccated or something. You know, I actually don't even remember because I don't care. Um, it was just a mispronunciation of the word, but here's where, the get, where it gets interesting, right? Here's the juicy bits. So this person <laughs> started accusing me of being dyslexic and you know what? Maybe I am, I don't know. I've never had a, a test done on me or anything like that. Oh man, that's interesting. It's almost like an old-fashioned video, like a camcorder. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, they, they call me uh, dyslexic because I mispronounced one word uh, from a, a rapper that I looked at for like two seconds. Uh, and suddenly I have a condition that, to be honest, shouldn't be mocked. But this person took it upon themselves. And here's why I bring that up. A lot of times, if you watch people's behaviors, they'll accuse you stuff they do or the stuff they have a problem with so my theory is this person this person was bullied for being dyslexic or maybe having a speech impediment which again I'm not criticizing those who have that right it's just oh, maybe I can open that it, you know people just have different things you have different problems you have different speech okay, issues so right now what it's like to live on Earth on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd say right at 2. Yep, could always get worse. What would you rate it before the Combine showed up? Oh, that's a toughie. I don't know. Uh, good day? I'd say 6. Yeah, a strong 6. 6? That's not great. Well, that's life, Alex. You know, it's not always great. Well, maybe we get the Combine off Earth and we could shoot for, like, an 8. You know? Oh, an 8. Yeah, that really would be nice. Really nice. <laughs> a little too nice, a little too impossible to reach. Oh, look at that down there. So I'm thinking this is the way to go 
and that's kind of an extra area to go check out. But we got this area right here to look at too. So yeah, um, my my point is, um, a lot of times when you have somebody become critical of you, <clears throat> it's a lot of times it's 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 a defensive mechanism. They are insecure about themselves, and. guys growling down there um, yeah, nothing's really so I don't think Let me see. oh I see their colors stupid so yellow nope this one's yellow this one's yellow to yellow there we go all right I am smart. Nope, I am not. Yep. Hey. Yeah, so I think um, I think we're dealing with some projection. I think someone's been bullied. And that, my point, it is to the point, when people tend to be victimized, um, they tend to carry that victimization forward. So if somebody's bullied, most times they tend to be bullies. Um, and maybe they don't physically bully somebody, but maybe they find someone else in their lives that they can abuse, right? They, they usually, you know, you think that, oh, they'd be sympathetic to, to bullying and not bully, right? No, that's not always the case. Oh, uh, someone asked me to test this. There you go. Store wrist items in wrist pockets. So <laughs> you can't carry the medical stuff with you. <laughs> no. um, kind of a waste. I wasn't that wounded, but I don't. I can't really carry that much stuff. So yeah, I think that's what's going on here. I get this kind of stuff once in a while. Every YouTuber. Or anybody who just posts Twitter, or Instagram, and any of that kind of stuff, you just get that. You know, uh, oh, look at you, you're an idiot because you walked past something you just didn't see. <laughs> right? And that's literally, you can almost visualize the wording, these, you know, how they speak and everything. Like this, that's literally what they, they sound like in my mind. So that's kind of to my point. It's like, I'm just going to mock you, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take you seriously. Right? You're, you're not getting the reaction you want, which is part of the narcissism, right? I want a reaction. I need reaction. I'm not getting any love or reaction. My mommy didn't hug me. Take your pick. <clears throat> Whatever the, the, the dumbass issue is, <sighs> let me rephrase that, guys. It's not dumbass issue because legitimately, I don't necessarily blame. Oh, no, I guess I'm not going this way. I don't necessarily blame these guys for the way they are because, I mean, it's, it may have absolutely nothing to do with them. Well, here's the blame. Here's where it does come in, right? Here's where a little bit of that is on them, especially when they start hitting adulthood, right? You're a young teen. I get it. You're not going to be <clears throat> the most cogent of, of thought and everything like that, right? I, I, I get it. But when you're an adult, an alleged oh. Jesus Christ. This is, <coughs> this is uh <laughs> this is kind of a thing. Okay. Um you know better, so the notion that you can somehow continue to get away Whoa. Okay, so I can't drop this guy. He doesn't really have anything useful. It's cool, it's look at this. Look at this. Wanted to, wanted to see if I can give. No, I guess not. I mean, I don't have to waste the ammo, right? I can just sneak along. Um, 
Uh, there's no barrels. I could toss a barrel up or something like that. All right, fine. Let's see what the piñatas have. Nothing. Hey, piñata, what you got? <laughs> disgusting. Um, yeah, so anyways, projection, narcissism, take your pick. The internet is full of this garbage. And it's unfortunate that people are sitting behind their keyboards. And this is not a new phenomenon. This has been going on since the internet was a thing. Um, you know, message boards back in the day, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think he's still swinging. The physics in this game are amazing. Interact more. I'm doing it. Um, yeah, so, again, I don't hold them necessarily fully responsible for their behavior, for their attitude about things. Uh, you did this thing, that's... Every human, you know, three million people are infected with dyslexia or have the dyslexia issue. Uh, 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 I'm gonna just come here because I'm insecure about people with any conditions. Again, I don't have dyslexia. <clears throat> At least I've never been diagnosed with it. But what if it was something else? What if I had a lisp? If I had a bad lisp. Dude, they're seriously not giving me anything good here. All right? You gonna come in and make fun of that? All right? Probably. You seem like the kind of person that does that. That this is a, uh, a standard modus operandi for you. Alright, so the real question is... I'm almost positive that's the exit. So this is a auxiliary room full of funness. Full mags. Let's use up the... Uh, Pushins left. Out of shells. That's okay. That's okay. Don't freak out. Oh, look, I could use. I could use that. Yeah. So I'm gonna say that's about all I could really talk about with that matter with that particular person. But <clears throat> again, they're most likely not coming back. Or if they come back, it's mostly to just kind of see if they got a reaction. Well, you got a reaction. Are you happy? Does it make you feel better? Mm. <laughs> right. It's just like. Who gives a shit, dude? No one cares about you. No one cares about your problems. You know who cares about their, your, you and your problems? Your family. Your friends. And you seem like such a lovely person that I'm sure that nobody in your family has uh, you know, been ostracized by your behavior. I'm sure everybody loves you. Right? Right? We'll go with that. Because uh, uh, the alternative is very sad. To have nobody really gives a shit about you. And I'm sure if, I, if I'm if i reading the, the character of this person correctly, my mommy loves me, right? Or something like that. It's it's, it's going to be something to that effect. Oh, man, X! Well, the shotgun is really good against you. Oh, I almost, I almost missed that last. Access to this block is not permitted. Local security deployed and designated to prosecute. To prosecute. What does that prosecute mean? <laughs> I, I can only guess. All right, I'm assuming that's out. Yeah, so, you know, a 52-year-old uh, man, I've been a part of the internet since literally the internet became a thing. Oh, I love the explosions. Listen. Um, so, you know, this behavior, I've seen it over and over again. Sometimes people mature out of it. Look at that. Some people will grow up. I mean, it happens. Um, and sometimes those people grow up and become just douchebag adults. They never learned their lesson. They think somehow they're special. 
They're entitled to point out people's failings, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. You're not special. You're special. Just like everybody else, right? <laughs> so I hope I'm offending some people because I intended it to be that way. And I don't care. I don't make this YouTube channel for you. I don't make this YouTube channel for really anybody. Uh, though I do like people coming along. I really do. Um, I enjoy comments, constructive comments. Check out light switches. I'll be honest with you, dude. I, I don't know where the light switches are. I don't know what I missed with light switches. But, you know, I guess it was in that apartment building. I don't see. These guys are going to become a problem. Hey. Not cool, dude. Oh, shit. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Last shell. Really? Last one? Man, I love the shotgun. But the ammo limitations are really annoying. Oh, look at all this stuff. Look, look again. Look how beautiful this game is. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Look around. Look everywhere. I get it. Get it. Sorry, I thought it's awesome for a second. I'm trying not to look too rapidly, too, you know, flip, 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 flip around too much. I guess some people who watch my videos um, are some friends of mine and others who aren't great with uh, VR with the first person perspective. Uh, my wife is actually one of those as well. Can I get in here? No. Uh, so it's one of those things where I, I, I try to be mindful of my looking around, but unfortunately... Fucker. Whoa, hello. Shit. Dropped a whole mag of ammo. the ground oh that's crouching Jesus all right sorry guys I had a little panic moment there where my the gun didn't work and couldn't figure out why Having the sounds come out from all around you is definitely a thing. There's definitely a conflict of some kind going on. Look at me, my super strength. So while I'm looking around, trying to be somewhat remotely entertaining, which, you know, I'm not always succeeding. Hey, come here. So, oh, look at that. Yeah, I definitely need ammo. Um, if you get a chance, please go to Off Friendly Pest. I'm going to always pimp his channel, guys. I know you probably, if you're watching these videos, you're probably like, what the hell, dude? You know, you just go marry him already. <clears throat> you know what? I would. And then we'd have a, an amazing bromance. Right? And make breakfast, we put on a VR, we have an incredible time. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll do other stuff, we'll take care of each other. I think we're both good people. If we were gay. I don't believe we are. But I'm just saying. I think we'd make incredible gay lovers. And I'm saying all this because I know if he's listening, he's probably going, facepalm, what the fuck, dude? Seriously. <laughs> he's probably freaking out pretty bad right now. <laughs> Maybe he's not. I don't know. Maybe in another life. Look at these guys. I have no ammo left there. I know it's... 
kind of cheesy to do that. But I don't know what the alternative is. What, open it up and let them hit you? I don't know. So anyways, yeah, enough of that. Talk about friendly pests, the reason I brought him up and got sidetracked with my deep undying love for him is uh, he's got a Discord channel and we have tons of people on there that are actually pretty cool. And I recommend, if you can, go to Off Friendly. It's, uh, oh, see, okay, so I need to get a wheel. Oh, look, a wheel. Let's not be litter bugs. So go to Off Friendly Pest. Off Friendly is one word. And, uh, okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, you. Okay, my, re, re, reposition myself in the real world here. Okay, get over there. Look at me. Ah! Okay. That is awesome. Look at that. I got a wheel. Can I go that way? No, I can't. <laughs> Let's be smart about it. Use this hand, and this hand to aim. Oh, that. Oh, God. Oh, it's pulsating. So, let me get it out before I go any further because I'm probably going to be in the middle of action here. A friendly pest, a friendly one word, pest, P E S T. We got a Discord channel. He not only does he make amazing videos, right? It's a great channel, friendly guy. If you got some projection to do and you want to make fun of somebody for their accent, uh, believe it or not, this guy actually got it got implied in online playing that this guy's inbred. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> internet people suck. I mean, seriously. Now, the vast majority, I think, are just everyday people. But man, the little trolls, the little, the little, the small dick, the small dick energy trolls, right? The, these little people that just have no so, lives. When we get the combine off of Earth, what are you gonna do? I'm going full production mode on the Russells, of course. Oh, of course. You'll be sitting on a landmine. Gold mine, yep. So here's the plan. Conservative estimate, I figure one year to get the world unconquered by the Combine, get them off the planet. So that's year one, then another year to mass produce the Russells. Although, just quietly, we will need to rebuild society first, you know, to get some basic infrastructure, jobs, money, that sort of thing. Otherwise, people won't be able to buy them, you know. So, uh, yeah, three-year plan. Let's slot the infrastructure thing in for year two. Oh, yeah, definitely. You're going to want to put that in year two. I, I, I sense sarcasm. So, yeah, Discord channel, cool people, a lot of fun. Um, you know, if you're going to, if you want to troll and stuff like that, come on down. Come on down to a channel that has a heavily supported community and uh, is very loyal to that channel and uh, won't broke any any nonsense from somebody who decides that uh, I don't have a life and I have a little dick and uh, no one wants to touch my pee pee and uh, all that kind of stuff. Wow, am I bitter or what? <laughs> Anyways, no offense to those of you, I was say, those of us, whoop, Freudian slip, those of you, because you know, I'm a man, uh, who may have, you know, some lacking in some areas. <laughs> Gotta get off this topic because I'm stupid. Anyways, guys, go to Discord, the uh, Friendly Pass, go to his Discord, join... Oh, okay, so I'm not coming back. Okay, well, let's do it. Oh, my light's back on automatically, which is cool. I love that the light just follows the gun, which is the way you really should have it. Dude. You know, don't, don't leave your food... Sit what? What kind of an animal does that? Holy shit, guys. Oh my god, look at all the explosives. Look at all the explosives. One wrong shot in here. Oh my god. One wrong shot and this place is going up. Well, let's see how many times Spike can blow his ass to pieces. Alright, let's play a game. Right now, before I go any further, <laughs> another one. Guess how many times I'm going to blow myself up in this part of the map. 
I'll give you a second. All right, that should be enough time to put a quick number down in the comment section. <laughs> that's, that's not a gimmick to get uh, an algorithm boost or any that kind of thing, guys. That's a legit question. Look at all the explosives. Oh, something's moving in here and it's not us. Oh, shotgun shells. I don't think this is a good place for shotguns. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it just keeps going with the with the explosives. <laughs> you son of a bitch game. Any minute now, something's gonna come popping out, making me shoot, and then I'm gonna blow blow me and them up. Right? Okay. Some of you. That was weird. I may have put zero down because so far this game is not giving me anything to shoot at. Fuck. <laughs> By the way, if you have. Oh, God. Um. Kind of like a puzzle, guys. Kind of like a puzzle. I can't shoot one without creating a series of explosions because I guarantee you hitting that is going to blow up that, 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 and it's going to destroy everything. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Take a chance. I'm gonna see if I can how fast I can run away. Oh, careful! Oh, Alex! Alex! <laughs> All right, welcome back. Um, the answer is none. I can't shoot any of them under any circumstances. Go back here and pick up this resin. <laughs> Well, at least I know there's no dangers up to this point, so we'll just move along here. Pick up our shotgun shells. Um, Let's, shell. Let's load that sucker up. I love that. Just like with most games that do guns really well, this is just amazing. The detail. I love that. Yeah. Do you have any real world firearms experience? Sorry. You ever put your headset on and all of a sudden you got itches? I think one of the guys who were gaming last night, Drakshala, uh, brought that up in his, uh, we were playing, he said, uh, you know, as soon as you put the headset on, that's it. All of a sudden I got itches. And itches get stitches. No, I got nothing. All right, so, uh, um, yeah. Can't touch that, can't touch there, but I can. So let me shoot this guy first. We'll limit it to oh, back careful, here. careful! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is with the no stuff? Oh boy. Getting dark again. Ah, uh, do I need to kill this one? I don't think I do. And they have producing nothing. They're not giving me any ammo. Right? Look at this. Look at this. And yeah, definitely getting dark again. All right, well, my friend, I'm just gonna avoid you because I don't need to shoot you. For you, I need to shoot. Back a little bit here. Careful, careful. Oh. Careful. I don't know how dark it is for you guys as you as you're watching this recording. Oh crap! Like right next to one of those guys. Careful. See nothing. 
nothing. I got two more dudes. Look for any loots. I do not see anything loot worthy. I don't need to kill him. I'm using too much ammo. I'm getting a little close to this guy, so I'm just gonna kill him. Wow. Got a three magazines. Having it detached from. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look at this. They put the lock on the other. with the barrel, the explosives on the other side. And I'm gonna need that, I guarantee it. Because it's, you know. I mean, how obvious can it be? Look at this. Yeah, because there's my door. Okay. Alright. Alright. Freaking game. Games, you want to play game, Mr. Game? You know what I can do? Look at this one. Oh, oh step out of bounds, what I can do. Careful. Okay, so that door won't open because it's locked, right? Yep. Oh, look at this fun. So not only do I have the dark to deal with and whatever's lying in the dark, but additionally, health station. I'm still pretty good health, but there's one guy over here. Somehow I need to kill him. I bet you 20 bucks he's surrounded by those containers. Okay, I gotta... So, this whole three-year Russell plan. You think, uh... You think you'd have a job for me? Job? Alex, you invented the Alex. Of course you can have a job. It'd be partners. Oh, well, uh, hmm. Well, there would be stock options. Five to ten year vesting period, obviously. Could be very lucrative for you, Alex, in the long term. I don't know what any of that meant, but sounds good. Yep, sounds good. Alex? Oh my god, they're being so stingy. I can't blow anything up. So the usual tactic of just... A, there's a walking dude, a walking around dude. Hey, my friend. Can we be friends? Is there any more ammo up here anywhere? Sometimes I like to put on top of these scaffoldings. Um. Of course, I angled this thing so I can't see. Yeah, I see you. I see you walking around down there, my friend. Come on, VR, work with me here. I really hope they put some ammo somewhere here soon because this is going to be a real problem. Oh, look at this guy. Alright, one down. I don't know if he's the only one. I 
can't avoid these guys. They're literally blocking the way. If I try to sneak past, they're gonna they're gonna snag me. Run. Last one. That's not good. <laughs> Ammo, yes. Resin over there. I don't need to kill you, so I'm just gonna try and work around you here. What did I just do? I think I just dropped the magazine. Last mag. I just dropped a mag? to know what happened to that bag. Remember ammo being this scarce. <laughs> Thank you. The game was listening apparently. Wishiness of everything. It's just crazy. Alright. So this looks like a bit of a puzzle. I'm gonna look at this for a second. belt. Okay, so I remember there being a thing about that last time I played, so that I'm just going to be truthful. I remember something happening here where I had to react quick. That guy was trying to suck that up. If he had done that, he would have blew up everything and then I'd have to start over again. I have denied him. I have denied him that option. Oh, I don't want to know. 
another health thing. I already have one. All right. <laughs> Ten rounds. Nightmare. Okay, a little transition there. Hmm. Don't know if that's relevant or not. Any ammo? Like we're coming out of the dark. It's an old uh, Gloria Stefan song. Coming out of the dark. She wrote that for anybody who remembers Miami's sound machine. We're going to the surface. So that's a great idea. I'm going to do a quick time check, guys. All right, we'll play a little further on. Because now... Someone's having a bad day. The animal is in the pit. for any potential ammo, guys, because uh, God knows I need it right now. Oof. Oof. Combine. Rest. These guys have automatic weapons. They're alien commandos. Of course they have automatic weapons. We'd have them too, but Combine weapons are gene-coded, so out of luck. Unless you find one that's unbonded, or you're open to some minor genetic modification. I'm... I'm good, Russ. I'm just gonna roll with these jeans that I've got. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with these jeans. <clears throat> Don't do too bad with these jeans. Not doing too bad at all. Alright. Men with automatic guns who are probably itchy on their trigger fingers. So that's... Oh, yeah. Sure where I'm supposed to go. All the trains are sealed. Necrotics. Sounds like a lovely term. Oh yeah, there they are. There's the combine. Engaging guys with automatic weapons with uh, ten rounds is probably not smart. One round with a shotgun. All right. Headshots. It is. <laughs> Which is very bold as brass of me to say, considering I am. Uh, why did that climb me up there? Look at that. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, Gloria Stefan, I got my track, uh, my, I lost track of whatever, because, you know, that's what I do. Yeah, Miami Sound Machine, and uh, back in the 80s, man, they were the, they were the bomb. And, um, oh, go for the station. Yes. 
That's two shots. You know what? It's all right. It's all right. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, so it's going to be another one of those jump down and you're... Oh, oh. Might need all the resin I can get. All right, let's unlock this thing. Let's look at our weapon upgrades, guys. I'll probably call the video there. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to make these too horribly long. Oh, well, we know this one. This one's easy. Uh, let's take the globe. Put it in a position. There you go. Ah, oh, spoilers. Sorry. All right, what do we got for resin? 36. Yeah. Oh, we can get everything. Everything. Oh, shit. What do we want? We want bullet reservoir. We want burst fire. I kind of like burst fire. Because it does seem like some of these guys take more than a hit or two. Bullet reservoir. Oh, it's 10 additional bullets. It'd be nice not to run out of bullets so fast. And then a laser sight for better targeting. I like the reflex side. I think it's fine. You know what? Let's see what upgrade we have with the shotgun. Double shot. <laughs> Adds an option for, to fire a second shot immediately after the first. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm dyslexic. Uh, the option, a second, uh, a, a immediate accuracy. That's what it says. It says second shot immediacracy. <laughs> sorry. I'm just being an asshole. Adds a mechanical shell feeder to quickly load the shotgun. Oh, so you don't have to... Maybe you don't have to do it two at a time like that. I don't know. I kind of want to create the pistol. I think the pistol for now at least is going to be primary. Oh, what do we choose? What do we choose, guys? This is probably going to be a mistake. Do we want more ammo? We can just unload on these guys. Ten more rounds. Basically another magazine. Laser sight. I'm not really thrilled about the laser sight because I have the reflex sight. I think it's fine. These go hand in hand. So do I want to buy the reservoir first and then later... I only need four more resin, and I can buy the bullet burst fire. Let's do that. Let's get the bullet reservoir. So less reloading. And... What? Oh. oh. <laughs> Safety first. I'm sorry, we need 14 more, not 4 more. I'm stupid. We need 14 more resin. Oh, look at this bad boy. Wow, my gun's looking pretty good. Rex, come on. At this point, it's kind of our gun. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically counting down the ammo. So maybe like your normal counter and then that's the additional ammo? I'm not really sure. We'll figure it out as we use it. Oh my god, sorry guys. <clears throat> I don't see any more resin up here. Not that we're going to find enough to upgrade this gun to burst fire, but with this much ammo and some burst fire, yeah, we're going to be causing some devastation. Let's jump down and take a look. Sponge. Damn. There we go. That's our first combine soldier we had to engage, and he was a freaking bullet sponge. I can't have his gun. I want his gun. <laughs> Uh, I did take a little damage there. I don't really see... Uh, health station. I don't know, man. I don't think we need a health station. Ah, oh, yes, but we need that. Because these guys are bullets. Oh, look at that. Okay, game. Thank you. Thank you. 
there's a meme that's really funny and I'm going to end it here basically it's uh, got one picture of a guy smiling and it says when you find a load of health packs and extra weapons or something to that effect right and then the next screen says the exact same thing you find a load of health packs and extra weapons and he's got a sad like worried look on his face because he realizes the game the game is about to oh I don't have to use my so, the game is about to bring some shit so <laughs> oh squishies Bing. Good as new. I wish real life was like that. Right? Just like real life, right? Okay. I'm heading into a world of all kinds of funness here. Neurotics inbound. Necrotics inbound. Oh, I'm dyslexic. Neurotics, right? Neurotics inbound. Alright, while well, they're blasting away, guys, we're going to end the video here. Join me next time for the continued chapter. Apparently, hostiles continue. Hostile content. Contain. I'm dyslexic. Hostile content. So uh, please join me next time. Please go check out our friendly pest. Uh, look at my description, by the way. I've got a list of other YouTubers. Some people that are just now starting to get their channels together. Some people that have uh, been been putting stuff together for a little while now. Um, so yeah, please check them out. Give them a view. Give them some likes. Give them some love. Do not go there and harass these people, please. We're just going to block you. And then we're going to make fun of you on our Saturday big VR nights on off the Discord channel from a friendly pest. So, you know, if you want to be the butt of everybody's joke, come on in and show us what an idiot you are. So, anyways, on a more positive note, stay strong, protect the innocent, be good people. I mean that because if we're all good people, there are no bad people in the world. Right? It's kind of that simple. Don't go to jail because you didn't do anything wrong, right? If you do something wrong, you go to jail. If you hurt someone's feelings, you did that, right? If you intentionally go after somebody knowing that you're going to harm them, that's you. You're an asshole. And nobody likes an asshole. I don't care who you are. All right, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. No more rambling. Take care.